What's up guys, Joe Elements here once again and today we are talking about this Lassie DJI Co-Pilot. So um, this device is an external hard drive and that is 2000 gigabytes so it's 2 terabytes and um, it's by two companies, by DJI as you can see here and by Lassie, Lassie or Lachi or Lacy, whichever it is, that company that creates that rugged hard drive, external hard drive. So them and DJ has merged together to um, put together this device. Now, before I go on to it, a little bit of explanation about this device. Supposedly, it allows you to offload files or backup files from your camera's memory card directly onto the hard drive without having to connect to a laptop or a computer desktop. So this is just perfect for going out in the field when you're in a remote area and then you don't have access to um, um, power supply because it's charged, you charge it fully and you can use it remotely. So, um, this is a two terabyte version. I know they've created, they've designed a new model, but this is the first generation. It works fine as, as far as I'm concerned. There is no difference between the new model to this one. Besides, I think the hard drive space is a little bit bigger and maybe one or two things on the software. So without further ado, there we go. Let's have a look at it. Um, it feels very heavy. Um, just before we actually open it, let's have a look at the back. So it tells you, um, you got IP55 rain protected and um, it can connect to a mobile phone. It can connect, um, you've got a connection for full charge. It can connect to a camera directly. You can connect it obviously to a computer. It's got an SD card slot directly and um, it comes with multiple cables for both Android, which is USB-C and lightning port for um, iPhones. Now, um, also the reason why it has that is because you can connect it to your phone and have a reference in terms of what's on the card or on the hard drive at the same time as it's copied the file. So it seems very, 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 handy especially for us as filmmakers those who vlogs on the um, on the streets you always want to back up your file when you only have a camera like the EOS R like the Sony a7 III a7R that has only one memory card so wow that's that out of the way this screams premium it's got a nice brand logo right here on the top saying Lassie. Um, I hope I've got it the right way around. And yes, I must do this, nothing else. So, oof, it's got a magnetic feel as well. Listen to this. It's got magnets built into the cover. So, it's premium. The price for this is 380 pounds when you buy it new that's what I paid for so it has to be worth it because you can pick up a two terabyte external hard drive a standard external hard drive for um, 70 pounds there and there sometimes even cheaper depending on the brand so if you're having to pay that premium almost 400 pounds for external hard drive it has to be worth it it has to be rugged so flip it open all right, very nicely packaged. As you can see, it's got this nice soft padding right here on the, on the lid. There's another cover right here for the cabling. So I assume this is the charger that um, allows you to charge it before you go out in the field. Um, let's see if I know how to put this together. All right, this way. Okay, oh, the other way, that's it. So this is UK's charging point, so that's what we're using. 
and it comes with a European one and a couple more um, other bits and pieces. I don't know what country that is for, but yes, and a couple more. So it's really, really good for um, all world round. And then you've got USB-C. And then this is the mobile phone connector cable. This is um, micro USB um, connector. And then you've got, yes, the iPhone lightning connector. And then you've got standard USB to USB-C. So that means this USB-C will be the one you probably use for your Android phone, USB-C phones. A very small booklet. I still don't understand why companies still add booklets. It's waste of paper and not very friendly to nature because these things, we never read it. Filmmakers, we never have time to actually read um, because a lot of tutorials is online. The company themselves sometimes does tutorials on how to operate the system, so I don't see why they should um, cut out and print a whole booklet in various different languages. So this is useless to me. Now the main thing we're talking about here is this right here. Okay, just before then, here is another booklet. It says, congratulations, your new Lassie drive includes. So this is another piece of junk paper we'll not use. Um, Yep, it's empty. So as you can see, this is the packaging that everything falls into space. And that is empty. Um, this is definitely a premium packaging. I'm definitely keeping this box. No matter what, I'll find use for it because it's got the clicky... <laughs> the clicky magnet in there. Yeah, so let's get to the main device. So this is the rugged Lassie DJI co-pilot is a tongue full but this is it it's nice in grey obviously that's a touch from DJI um, this comes off completely and here you've got all your ports all the ports right here that we discussed that showed on the outside um, as you can see and then um, Ah, very nice touch, you see. This cable has a built-in magnet. So if you have a look, this goes all the way around to connect to here. And yes, so this is the USB-C one that goes into your USB-C capable phone or compatible phone. So that's that. Um, there is a power connection. Wow, it's on already. It shows 65% charge. I really like this touch where they have created, you know, this mesh gray, um, almost you don't see that there's a screen behind it, but there is a screen. When you press it, it shows that there is a screen there. It shows you a percentage um, of the battery charge and then it shows you the memory remaining as well. Um, yeah, so it's it's very nice. Uh, let's see something. Okay, so it's literally a hard drive. Again, just as Lassie usually will do, they just put a big, thick, um, rugged rubber around it to protect it from dropping. The only sad thing is that this is a spinning hard drive. So it's not SSD, it's a spinning hard drive. Um, yes, that reminds me, that is the difference between this and the second generation. The second generation is SSD. This one is a spinning hard drive. So that's the only thing. So as we're aware, spinning hard drives doesn't like to be thrown around and stuff like that. So when you are copying your files, you make sure that it's lying somewhere safe. And whilst the copying is taking place before you end up corrupting your files and whatnot. Right, well, so that will be it for now. Um, I'll test it out properly and um, I'll give you a full review in a couple of um, shoots. Apparently, this can also host red files. So that means I can connect my um, red 
mag reader directly to here and then update automatically onto here which is mwah, that is brilliant idea so if that really works depending on how long it will take to copy the files because we know red files are really large and then again this is a spinning hard drive it's not an ssd so let's see how that will work in the field i've got a project coming up um on the 15th and um i'll be using this but I want to make sure I test this to the fullest so I'll use this for um, the red files as well backup at the same time as um, I will be using the Canon EOS R for um, BTS behind the scenes and I'll use this to back it up as well because the EOS R also has only one card slot. So that's it for me guys, um, stay tuned and I'll give you further feedback on this one. Peace.